morning. Hey, good morning. Jim Sunderworth here from the swing. Uh, just uh, looking forward to just keeping on in this um, Exodus as we talk about how Moses now is listening to God and God is speaking to him about the laws and the, how, the regulation of the people so that they will know what God desires of them and that, and that relationship. Everything is based on ability to have a relationship. And, um, and so we need to understand, look, if there's a God that's created all things and he wants to have a relationship with you, ah, ah that's, a, that's an amazing thing. And then he says, here's, the, some, here's some rules and regulations and laws that's going to help you along the way. Then it's amazing. So in chapter 21, uh, verse 13 talks about accidental death and talks about 14. If you, but if you scheme to kill somebody, uh, that's an execution. It talks about taking care of the needs of people that, have, uh, that maybe that you have uh, need to take care of. Uh, verse 21, 33, it says, if, if you dig the pit and somebody falls in, you got to take care of it. 22, 14 says, if uh, you borrow an animal then and you bring it back and there was something wrong with that animal, then you have, well, it's just like if, if somebody said, came up to you and said, hey, can I borrow your car and brings it back with a dent in the fender? Well, it says, if that dent's in the fender and you borrow the car, the, well, it's talking about donkeys, but we're talking about today. It applies to us today. Don't take your the car that you borrowed back with a dent. Get the dent fix or pay them for that. There's the laws right here. I mean, it's right here for relationship with others so we can have a good relationship with people. It talks about in 22, uh, don't, you know, if you cause a widow an orphan or you or you uh, don't take care of a widow and you don't take care of an orphan, he said, it'll, he said I'll take you out and somebody will have to take care of your wife and child. He, he said it. It's kind of rough, but he said, listen, that's how important it is. You take care of widows and you take care of or orphans found in 22, chapter 22, verse 22. And uh, uh, 23, it talks about, the again, with the, with the animals. So it's very, very important that we realize that these laws were made so that they would know God's desire and what God uh, wanted from them and that they would have a good relationship one with another. So um, it, it's important that we, we realize that God guides us with his word that's where we get our guidance is from his word that's why we need to understand the importance of getting the word of god hiding it in our heart that we might not sin against god so it's very very important then he also says in these he said and i want to take you over to it to 22 or 23 and it says these words i will send my fear before you and i will cause confusion among all the people uh, whom you come and i will make all your enemies turn their backs to you and he said, I will send hornets before you. Now, what he's talking about here, he said, I'm going to send an angel. When he, he was going to go into the land. Once they get there and they go into the land, he said, I'm going to send an angel to go before you. He said, for my angel will go before you and bring you uh, to the Amorites and the Hittites and the Pezzarites and the Canaanites and the Hivites and the Jebusites and, and um, uh, all the, all, I don't know why all the enemies were ended with sites or ites, but <laughs> that's what they were. Uh, but anyway, he said, and I'm going to cut them off. He said, I want you to understand the importance that I'm going to have my angels go before you. Mm -hmm. I'm going to send hornets mm -hmm. before you. It's mm -hmm. important to realize that, that we have, we have our, I believe with all my heart, we have angels that are around about us and camps around about us and, and they go before us and, and even before we get there, they've prepared the way. I really believe if we could see um, all the angels that are around, uh, all the, the followers of Christ, that we would be so assured, it would be so amazing to realize how important it is that I, God said it, I'll be with you, keep you, bring you, never leave you. That's because he says he's going to send those angels before you. He says, I love you. And I've got a plan for your life, and I'm going to go before you to give you this plan, to give you this Canaan land of all of our lives, if we would just trust him. He said, and then, then he said, I'm going to send them before you, and I'm going to take them out. But then I'm going to let you go in, but it's not going to be just go rush in. Listen to what he says. I will not drive them out before you in one year. It won't be one year. He said, this is verse 29 of chapter 20, of 30, uh, 23 of uh, Exodus. He said, I will not drive them before you in one year, lest the land become desolate and the beasts of the fields become too numerous. He said, I'm not going to take all the enemies out right at one time, but little by little, I will drive them out before you until you have increased and you've inherited your land. He said, you know, 
So many times I want God to just do something, boom. Mm. But God has little by little, he sanctifies us, he sets us apart. And through all of our life, he said, listen, the law, I'm going to give you the law to guide you. I'm going to give you angels around to guard you. And then I'm going to grow you little by little. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take you along just a little by little. And I'm going to precept upon precept, concept upon concept. And you're going to grow in your trust in me. I find that to be so true in my life. How that it's taken a lot of, lot of years. Salvation is instant. Sanctification takes a lifetime. Little by little precept upon precept, concept upon concept, but then as you get them and get them in your spirit, it begins to guide your life and guard your life and um, grow your life. That's the most important thing we can learn from this today is that God does guide us, yeah. guard us, and grow us little by little. <laughs> That's good, isn't it? Isn't that good? Okay, I'll see you tomorrow.